Hi, everybody. Ed Golf Coach Tom Cayley here. I want to start this special night out by thanking all of our student athletes for their hard work and competitiveness this year. It's such a joy to watch and follow the success of our student athletes in competition, as well as the contributions they make on campus and in the community. You all make me so proud to be a former student athlete here at Penn State Altoona and an alum. I want to thank our entire athletic department, especially Dr. Bechtel Wary and Brent Baird for making all of our seasons possible, as well as Connor Gilbert for keeping our athletes deservedly in the spotlight, both locally and in their home communities. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes that no one sees and it should be appreciated. As for the 2019-2020 Penn State Altoona golf team, it was a memorable season, a reestablishment of what our expectations truly are as a program. We celebrated many great individual accomplishments, and as a team, we fell just short of our ultimate goal of a conference championship, but solidified our place as a legitimate favorite heading into next fall. We placed second at the AMCC championship, falling to a senior-laden defending conference champion. Our team score on the second day of the championship was the lowest of any team over the two days and allowed us to leapfrog Penn State Baron to finish in second place. We also had runner-up finishes as a team in the Mount Aloysius and Penn State Baron Invitational this past fall. Individually, on the women's side, our lone female golfer, Katie Papilo, joined a list of great female golfers at Penn State Altoona by winning the AMCC Women's Conference Individual Championship, beating out a list of competitive female players from several, co several conference schools. Katie's influence on women's golf at Penn State Altoona was appreciated, and she will be missed as she transitions to University Park. Three golfers earned AMCC All-Conference status. Ethan Yowie and Jimmy Gillespie were named first team all-conference, while Luke Hoffnagel was named third team all-AMCC. Gillespie highlighted our season by shooting a one under par 71 at the Allegheny College Coon Invitational. It was the first under par round by a Lion golfer since 2007. Academically, we placed seven out of 11 golfers on the AMCC academic all-conference list. Peak performers with GPAs over 3.5 included Jimmy Gillespie, Grant Malloy, and Brian Snyder. Those over 3.2 included Luke Hoffnagel, Aaron Horvat, Katie Papilo, and Ethan Yowie. Along with our award winners and academic all-conference athletes, freshman Ryan Marshall and sophomore Cole Morey, last year's coaches award winner, both made significant strides this year on the course and were regular starters and contributors to our team scores. Ryan's first round at the AMCC championship really kept us in contention heading into the second day. Now I'd like to present our team award winners. First, our sportsmanship award is presented to Frankie Guinan. Frankie epitomizes the term great teammate and sportsman. He was always competing to get in the lineup and pushing everyone to get better, including himself. He made remarkable leaps from his freshman to sophomore year. Never one to take things too seriously, he kept the team atmosphere loose and fun while also balancing his competitiveness. Thank you, Frankie, for two great years and your personality and positive attitude will be missed. Our coaches award is presented to Jacob Mervis. Jake is one of those team members whose contributions often go unnoticed by people outside of the team. To me, he was snubbed out of all conference recognition and an achievement I know he will work towards for his senior season. Jake solidified his spot in the lineup after battling for starting time over his first two years, a sure sign of perseverance. Jake led the team at the Grove City and Penn State Baron Invitationals with a round of 78 in both tournaments. He also had top 20 finishes at the Penn State Altoona Invitational and AMCC Championships. His leadership on and off the golf course will be key to our success in 2020-21. And this award recognition of his steps forward this past season and hard work and success we anticipate for this summer and fall. Finally, our team MVP is Ethan Yowie. Ethan's game matured into a collegiate level competitor this past fall as a sophomore. Highlighted by his second place individual finish at the AMCC Championship, Ethan earned first team all AMCC status. Along with the conference runner up finish, he tied for third at our home invitational, sixth at the Mount Aloysius Invitational, he tied for 10th at the Penn State Baron Invitational, 
and tied for 18th out of 96 golfers at the Mason-Dixon Invitational, one of the strongest regional fields in the Mid-Atlantic. Ethan was also named academic All-AMCC recently to go along with his athletic achievements. Unfortunately, his degree selection is taking him to University Park and his talent and potential will be missed. His two-year scoring average leaves him eighth all-time at Penn State Altoona. For those seniors unable to realize another season of competition, I wish you the best in your future endeavors and thank you for the impact you have had on Penn State Altoona Athletics. For those fortunate enough to return next fall and beyond, let recent events be a lesson that tomorrow is never promised. Set your goals and work daily to achieve them. Your hard work and determination now will help you ease back to reality when that time comes. I look forward to everyone's return next fall and another memorable year of Penn State Altoona Athletics. Go Lions, and we are.